Hi guys, welcome to Auto-Addiction and today I am at Vachtechniek, which is a Dutch tuning company specialized in tuning cars from the Volkswagen Audi group, which is of course the Volkswagen Audi, Seat, also Skoda. And today I am here with the mighty Polo Blue Motion to get a custom remap of the ECU. And this car should have from the factory around 75 horsepower and 180 newton meters of torque. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's get it on the dyno and see what uh, what numbers it makes uh, just from coming from the factory. And then uh, after the tune, let's see what the tune can do. Now, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 situation, I wasn't able to get close to the car on the dyno. So I will just do it uh, like this with a voiceover. At the moment the car is on the dyno and the mechanic from Vachtechnik is at the moment calibrating the dyno to match the dyno speed with the engine speed. And once the calibrating is done, the car is ready for the first run with the original software. As you can see in the blue graph, the horsepower is getting up to about 86, 87 horsepower. It peaked at 87 horsepower and the torque peaked around 200 newton meters. So the numbers are actually quite good for original software. Now let's do the second run with the remapped software and see what the car does. Immediately we can see that the torque goes up to 250 newton meters and the engine horsepower now goes around 110. And here is the graph. Now this was the first run with the remapped software and right after this run, after the engine had cooled down a little bit, uh, the guys from uh, Vachtechnik did a second run just to be clear if there were no issues and if the power figures would be the same as the previous one. At this point no changes have been made to the uh, software prior to this run and as we can see the the power figures, the horsepower, newton meters, torque, it's almost the same. So that looks like it's a very stable tune. And yeah, this is the one to go with. And the results are in. Now, if you look at the graph from the car with the original software, the numbers are not on this sheet, but I can uh, post a screenshot in the video. Um, we can see that the car had with the original software around 86 horsepower and just at 200 newton meters of torque which is slightly higher than what the car should have come from with the factory but according to the guys from Vachtechnik and uh, this basically accounts for almost every Volkswagen Audi that the, um, the performance figures are just a little bit higher than what is stated from a uh, factory. Now if we look at the graph after the custom ECU tune we can see that the horsepower has risen to 110 with a very nice and smooth curve and you can also see that the torque the ink is almost empty so it's hard to see but the torque peaked at around 250 newton meters but overall if you can see that yeah the, the torque figures are just overall like what is it maybe 50 newton meters higher over the entire uh, rpm range so yeah that looks uh, pretty good now earlier today before i came to Vachtechnik, i also did a test with the draghi gps and also the draghi app to see the time from what it takes the car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour which i will include in the video right now Sixty. One hundred. 
So that was about 14.7 seconds. The original time or the, the time stated by the manufacturer uh, should be more like 13.9 seconds but of course that's with all the best and, and optimal uh, circumstances with probably an empty fuel uh, almost empty fuel tank and uh, a passenger or a driver that weighed only like 30 kilograms which is not me um, but it doesn't matter because we are going to do the test again and yeah with these kinds of times these long times of course it's a very still a slow car in comparison to high performance cars but the difference should be much more clearly because it's such a long time normally if you have a very fast car and you having it like like say a 500 a 500 horsepower car and you give it a chip and it goes to like 550 horsepower then measuring the 0 to 100 km per hour times is fairly difficult and normally they use a 0 to 200 or maybe 100 to 200 kilometers per hour obviously that's not going to happen with this car because the top speed is probably not even near 200 kilometers per hour but yeah we'll do the test anyway from 0 to 100 and it's coming up now As you could have seen that made quite a difference and yeah I must say the car actually drives a lot nicer now of course it's still not a fast car but that never wasn't even the, the purpose of the tune I just wanted to get it a little bit yeah faster I guess but so I'm happy with the results and of course I cannot say anything about fuel consumption yet first I have to drive like maybe a whole tank and see if there is any noticeable difference the fuel consumption should have gone down a little bit but we'll just have to wait and see if that's actually the case um, yeah so that wraps up this video and thanks for watching again uh, bye